Wall drug it. says you dig should it. dig it. Dig it. You're gonna dig the drug. Dig it. We're gonna dig it. Dig it. Everybody dig it. Dig it. We all dig it. It's my um, week two week of two road trip. Of road trip. Do we look tired? Cause we are. We kind of are. <laughs> yeah. Where did we leave you, my good friends? We were driving to North Dakota. Through South Dakota, through the length of South Dakota. We, on our way, saw signs for a magical place called Wall Drug. Oh man, and I heard so much about this place over the years. I was so crazy excited. She can attest to this. I learned about it like five minutes after the first sign that we saw. But I got so excited too! Oh, uh, because you kind of. Because there's nothing else to look at it. when you're driving to North And Dakota. signs are exciting when you're just on the road. Wall Drug Coffee is 55 cents. It's a South Dakota must see. It really is! And we're in South Dakota. Wall truck or bus. Oh my god. What is this world? <laughs> oh, it does look like a very big store. So we went to Wall Drug. It was an exciting experience. We saw some cool stuff. They had souvenirs and it's like a giant these like shop. statues that we played with. And we got to... Well, we almost got to Fargo, but then we oh, ran yeah. out of gas. <laughs> yeah. Ran out of gas. Wow. Really just minutes yeah. away from entering oh, no. Fargo. We're dead. We got no gas. Stop safely now. Yeah. Your fuel is too low. We uh we let the gas tank run out. It was an accident. It was a total accident. Why? Why? This is, this has no reason. We need to get to Fargo. <laughs> it's late. This late. Because we miss, we are in a new time late. zone. Yeah. This is awful. What time is it? It's five, six, seven, eight. It's ten thirty. Oh my god. PM. Start calling AAA. I'm gonna call AAA. Uh, yeah. So earlier today we uh we almost ran out of gas, and we should have taken that as a lesson. We should have. But right now we uh we just went right through the end of another tank. Uh. They've come to rescue us at last. Maybe we shouldn't open this. This guy has come to save us. We're all out of gas. Wow. I'm glad they found us because we don't even know where we are. Exactly. I couldn't even read this. Hi, thank you for coming to save us. What's Hi. Up? Thank you for saving us. <laughs> Not a problem. You guys got uh, uh, your AAA card on you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is this our dark night of the soul? Yes. Save it's coming a little early, yeah, though, in our structure. Yeah. It's going to be a really slow, long act three. This is the point where, the where you know, the fellowship We're breaks. We're questioning. We yeah. Have, we have to fight and, like... Dude, this is all your fault. What the hell? Why were Get you paying attention? You're so obsessed with oh. tea, you didn't even think about our greater needs. Dude. You're just trying to get your caffeine fix. You forgot Jeez. about the team. Oh my god. You've sabotaged the whole mission. Me all the time. I'm out of here. That's right, yeah. All right. Storm away, why don't you, in the middle of the road. Wait. And then I'm gonna throw my stuff down and I'm gonna look back and think, wait, I have a solution. How did that happen? <gasps> I need to find you! <laughs> Act three! Let's go! <laughs> the very next morning, we were at Sanford Children's. I was super scared about this day because it was the first day on this trip that we've actually been interviewing somebody at the hospital while they were getting treatment. Yeah, I was wondering how it was gonna be for you. Definitely. I mean, it was really weird for me in the very beginning willingly going into a hospital. Then while we were there, I learned that the girl we were interviewing had the exact same kind of cancer as me. So yeah, that was actually an emotionally testing experience for me. Electing to go hang out in a hospital and watch someone get the same treatment that I got two years ago was weird. Yeah, and not only that, the same diagnosis. The <laughs> fact that so many similarities were there. Yeah, it was like watching myself two years ago have cancer. Yeah, it's so interesting to find parts of yourself in the people that we run into. Yeah, definitely. It's inevitable. Yeah. We wanted to shake that experience off. <laughs> also, 
someone really wanted us to take a picture of Paul Bunyan. Yeah. Someone. Someone who's going to, yeah. <laughs> thought that that was close to Fargo. That was me. Oh, someone thought it was close to Fargo. Uh, and it wasn't. Well, and so we hit the road the very next day. I, I was just excited because I'm like, now we're really on a road trip. We're just like going off the beaten path. We were just like, it's not that far. We can just drive yeah. there. It's like an extra two hours so to our day. Hours, but day. to stand next to a statue of Paul Bunyan. And so, and of course. We just accidentally ended up driving all the way to Minneapolis. Yeah, this is where we are now. Completely by accident. Yeah, Minneapolis. Minneapolis. We had absolutely no reason to go to Minnesota, no less Minneapolis. But we were gone the whole way. Now we've been through pretty much the entirety of the state that we're not even interviewing a single person in. We have to be in Kansas City by tonight to check into our hotel. So we have to still drive all the way through Iowa. We have six hours to go. And uh, we've been driving since, since nine this morning. So yeah, what's the thing that you've been saying? <laughs> oh, you mean about that day that we had breakfast in Fargo, lunch in, in Minneapolis, dinner in Des Moines, and slept in Kansas City. That was one, one day, day of this trip. Uh, so then we started the next day in Kansas City. Magical Kansas City. Beautiful, wonderful Kansas City. Yeah, and we shot another hospital. We did. Mercy Children's. Brittany was 13. Isaiah was 15. Man, it was pretty raw for both of them, to tell you the truth. I mean, Isaiah was, what, in there about a month? Yeah. At that point? He was, it's really, the fact that he spoke to us at all, I thought was yeah. really admirable. So, I mean, it's something that really, that need to talk about it comes later, usually. And at the hospital, they have... A teen room. Yeah. And we watch Brittany do some art projects. Oh, they're doing really great things in Kansas City. And the fact that they even have a teen, teen room, pretty great. And oh my God, the fact that um, they're building a, a, a floor, right? That's just all AYA. It's going to be pretty great. It's great for them that they have that kind of support. Also, Kansas City is awesome. In every way. I have a new city that I'm going to be telling people is my favorite city. Huh? Where from? California and California? Oregon. California? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> you got no buses to California? No buses? Not like this. <laughs> we also became regulars as a restaurant. We just ate at the same exact we restaurant twice in one day. We went to lunch there, and even as we we're finishing lunch, we're like, we're coming back for dinner. It's food. Food. It's called food. Or food. And having been on the road, you know, uh, we needed this. What a gem! <laughs> that was we an important really pick We really needed up. this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. For any fellow travelers mm -hmm. who pass through Kansas City, find it. Find it. Go Enjoy to food. It. Yeah. So the next day, we went to Iowa. Ames, Iowa. Ames, Iowa. We went to Iowa State University. Yeah. We met a lovely gentleman named Derek. College has got to be one of the most stressful things for most people. Definitely. And here he is. He medically cannot experience stress. It's not, it's not good for him. Yeah, it's like right? dangerous, like life-threatening dangerous for yeah. him to experience stress. Yeah. Now imagine if all students had that, you know, how much smarter would you be? <laughs> yeah. I By mean, not devoting all that energy to stress. Stress is a pointless waste of time when mm -hmm. it all comes yeah. down to it. I waste a lot of my time on it. Most of us do. Mm -hmm. And it was really amazing to be talking to this kid who's like 18, who's just like, yeah, I just don't get stressed out about taking tests or and social drama or really anything because I know it'd be really bad for my health if I did. And you're just like, yeah, it's bad yeah, for it's everyone. Bad for like, we sh how can we all be but as chill as you? <laughs> it yeah. was really amazing. Do we have to have like a gun to our head to not be stressed I, it's weird yeah that's very counterintuitive now that you yeah. say it i would be i feel like i'd be even more stressed thinking mm -hmm. about how i couldn't be stressed couldn't be stressed exactly but, yeah derek, just be thinking about it derek was literally the most chill person that we've ever yeah. seen in our lives definitely he was just so even keel mm -hmm. uh, he just really mastered the art and i want to be just like him then we went to go 
in Des Moines, and Des Moines is super fun. Um, yeah. We climbed on some statues that Ooh. we later learned we technically weren't allowed to, but we had a lovely time doing it. Uh, really, the highlight. They're going to be climbed on if we see. <laughs> yeah. <them>. Why? Why <laughs> make statues rule. if they're not supposed no. to be climbed on? Thematic tie-in. The next day, we went to Nebraska and also climbed on statues. It's true. Uh, on a more important note, we also met two people in Nebraska. Yeah. Uh, Dominic was first in the morning. And when we met with him, I realized, oh, football really is important. His yeah. life is football. He yeah. had leukemia and still tried to play high school football mm -hmm. while going through treatment. Yeah. Uh, yeah he which was is pretty strong. remarkable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was like really yeah, powerful that way. So then we went to meet with Kevin. Yeah, yeah, he had brain cancer that was like in his spinal cord and it was stage four and he was told he would certainly die. Yeah. <laughs> Which he doesn't remember because he has no recollection of anything that happened during his treatment. Yeah. But his mother spoke to us about sort of all of those gaps in his memory. That just, that seems like a, a scary sci-fi movie premise to me that one day you're just living your life and the next day it's months later mm -hmm. and you had brain cancer yeah and now and you and you only remember what was before and what is right now right yeah that seems like it would be very unsettling mm -hmm. um, but he had a very good attitude about it he has a very close relationship with his mother which i think um is hugely important so yeah i mean that was our takeaway from kevin and in the morning we're gonna zip across Nebraska towards Cheyenne. So that was week two. Yeah, that it's, was week two. It's great. Being on the road is wonderful. It is. Why are we what is she babbling about? Why are we still she talking? She was the one that was enforcing, hey, let's make this short. Okay. Um, but in wrap up, this, is, this section that we've been through has been the most breakneck speed in terms of filming and driving and filming and driving and filming and driving yeah. that what we're looking forward to now in this coming week is just a little time to breathe yeah also the midwest is big turns out turns out it's and really things big. don't always seem far away on the map but they are mm -hmm. i.e the distance from fargo to minneapolis which it turns out is fairly significant it's fairly significant <laughs> On that note. On that note. See you next week. Oh, gosh. All right. All Very right. good to talk to you, Cheers. Bonnie. Cheers. Cheers to you all. Uh, <laughs> lovely. 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 Lovely.